Hi, welcome to Vlogmas, day 15. <sighs> I just got done walking the dog. I figured I would show you exactly what I wore outside, which was my hat and then my sweatshirt, which doubles as a double hat. This thing was go all the way up here. I took it down already. This is my like North Face something or other, I don't know. Took my mittens off so I can control the buttons on the camera. And my nose is like dripping. But it is super cold today. I think the high today is like zero, which really sucks. But anyway, the dog had some serious troubles outside, but we won't go into that. But anyway, it seems like the colder it is, the harder it is for him to go to the bathroom because he can't like get the smell, you know what I mean? So anyway, um, I am gonna heat up that pizza from last night and then start packing. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of that in just a few minutes. But the dog, where's the dog? Where's the dog? Oh, there he is. Hello. Hello, puppy. Hi. He's waiting for his treat because he always gets a treat if he poops. So he knows, he knows. Can you touch? Thank you. Very helpful. Very helpful, sir. Okay, well, let me get him a treat and I'll see you in a minute. So here is the pizza and a pizza stone. If I can find a pizza stone, I'll link it below if you guys are interested. Some people like to know what I'm using, but anyway. Um, when I reheat pizza, I like to do it in the oven because then the crust stays like crispier versus putting it in the microwave. Unless you like kind of gummier crust. But I like it to be, you know, kind of more crunchy, I guess. So I am maybe going to attempt to eat all of that. But I'm going to get a little, I'm going to put that on here. But I am going to get a little bowl and use that for my ranch. Because, you know, ranch goals, guys. Ranch goals. Pizza with ranch, just like yesterday. Actually, I'm going to go in here. Let me bust out the ranch. It's in the same spot. Those are my apples. Yum, yum. More ranch. And pizza, this is like the dream team right here, guys. The dream team. It'd be better if I had a Coke, but no Coke tonight. I need to sleep like a normal person and I can't have mega amounts of caffeine right before bed. So anyway, I've got a little bowl here and I'll put some ranch in there. Anyway, all right, so that is this. And as soon as I'm done with this, I am gonna keep packing. So, and I'll show you the packing in just a little bit. I have tried my hardest. I can't finish that. I just can't, and I'm out of ranch, so I think it's it's meant to be. It ain't gonna happen, ain't gonna happen. The dog wants it though. Tell me about it, buddy. You just following the pizza around? Yeah, I'm watching Judge Judy because I need to like decompress. I can't do it, just can't do it. Now, we pack. You gonna help me pack, buddy? Dun, dun, dun! Why is it still on? It's like the fan never turns off, even though I've attempted to turn it off. There's like, I don't know how many like pulse settings there are. Anyway. So, I have packed, kind of. Sorry about the wonky lighting. I didn't like grab my little clip thing. But anyway, I am packed. Like I got all my clothes packed. I'm like actually packing like really weirdly. I, I don't know. Like I just packed some of like my little flats, my little J Crew flats. Sorry if you can't see the viewfinders off um so i just packed these little flats and i have some tennis shoes we are not doing anything dressy whatsoever besides going to church on what is it christmas eve so really all my stuff that i'm bringing with is like casual yoga pants and t-shirts because we're not doing anything and it's gonna be warm-ish so yeah and then i'm bringing well i don't know if i'm gonna bring this sweatshirt i'm gonna do like a load of laundry tomorrow for a couple of things and just to have some like fresh clothes when i get back too but um but yeah so i don't know i mean i've got a couple of like more dressy-ish outfits but honestly it's just like lularoe <laughs> i mean i know it's not dressy but you can like put some accessories with it and whatever um, oh, one thing I do want to grab is my, like, faux leather jacket from Target. Um, I'm actually going to wear that, I think, possibly on the plane, too. I know that's kind of odd, but I don't really want to wear a really thick jacket. I'm just thinking for, like, the car ride going to the airport and the car ride coming back from the airport when I get back. I think I'm going to go with this bad boy 
from Target. It's like Massimo thing. I don't know. I wear it a lot. I think I'm gonna wear that. And this will be like my only jacket I bring. Um, just because we're not doing dressy stuff. I am bringing one. Well, I'm gonna have one with me, but I'm gonna have like on the plane or whatever. Oh, I gotta go over here. Um, I am going to have like, so I have my outfit like kind of laid out for what I'm gonna wear on the plane. So I've got my YouTube shirt, I've got my jacket, I've got my pants underneath there. I've actually already got my like socks and underwear underneath there too. And then I've got my Barefoot Dreams gray cardigan. So I love that thing, it's super cozy, but it isn't like crazy warm. I don't know, it's like hard to explain. The fabric's really nice. So essentially this side of the suitcase is all packed up and ready to go. And then this side of the suitcase, so these are all holiday gifts for either my brother or my mom. These are all from Jackson. And then um, I talked to my brother. I actually got, if you guys watch Vlogmas, I can't remember what day it was, but I got this like body brush thing. And these were in there and he loves like these little scrub gloves for the shower. So I asked him if he wanted them and he said yes. So I'm gonna bring it with me. So yeah, that is the plan. I also, when I was at Target the other day, I decided to buy some raisinets for the plane. So these are just kind of hanging out here. Um, and I will pack my carry-on tomorrow. I feel like there's really no need to do that tonight. Um, just because my carry-on is actually going to be my bag that I bring to work. So, that being said, I can't do it until tomorrow anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I am gonna do at least one load of laundry tomorrow. You know, just finish up the packing. And then I'll also do like my toiletries. Um, because I'm staying with my parents, sorry I keep moving around, but I'm like, actually looking for stuff too. Um, because I'm staying with my parents, I've actually shipped them a couple of years ago. I don't know, two seasons ago maybe. Because I visit so often, I actually have like full size shampoo, conditioner, like all that stuff there. So I don't have to bring any of that kind of stuff. But I do need to bring like all of my makeup and stuff like that. So, and um, then I'll also bring like my toothbrush, my Clarisonic, which by the way, um, I need to like start using my Clarisonic again. For whatever reason, I've just like gotten out of the habit of using it and I can really tell like my skin is just like not great anymore, which is bothersome, but whatever. I don't know why, but I feel like Casey Neistat right now because he always like ducks down to like look at the camera. Anyway, um, something else I wanted to tell you, I already said this on social media, like on my Instagram social media. I think I said it on my Facebook too. And by the way, make sure to check out my Facebook. It's down below in the links. Um, that is where I'm going to be doing my next giveaway, which will be coming out very soon. Um, it's probably not going to come out until after I get back from vacation because I won't have the prizes with me to film a video on it to show you guys. Plus I've ordered some stuff for a giveaway and not everything is here yet. So um, actually some of it is arriving while I'm on vacation because there was like a back order or whatever. So I know I've been doing giveaways on Instagram, but I'm gonna do my next one on Facebook because there were some people saying, oh, I wish I had an Instagram, but I'm gonna do it on Facebook. The reason I don't do it on the YouTubes, sorry YouTube, is because there's so many spammers out there. It is so difficult to figure out like on the back end how to do a giveaway because there's just really no good direct messaging thing and it's hard to really like validate who people are it's just weird so there's a lot of like back-end stuff that a lot of people that watch like giveaway videos don't really understand that uh, there's a lot more limitations on YouTube so which is why I don't like to do it on YouTube there's like a big smudge on the lens like sorry if you guys were smudgy earlier getting to the announcement I obviously announced this on social media earlier but I decided today, actually I was looking up um, on DaveRamsey.com, I'll link him below. Um, I'll link like the actual website. This is the Total Money Makeover. If you watched, I think it was Vlogmas day one, maybe? Um, I did a haul where I got two of his books. I actually have to pack one of them, so this is the one I'm packing. Um, but, because this is a gift for somebody in Florida. I've been a big Dave Ramsey fan for quite a while and I talk about it a lot in my financial videos and stuff and I've always wanted to take financial peace but I've always been like, 
you know what? I don't have any debt. Like, why am I taking financial peace? But I feel like I can still get a lot out of it regardless. So I decided to sign up because I searched my zip code in the little, like, you know, find a class or whatever in your area. And there is actually a class starting on January 8th. So I'm really excited. It's actually the day before my birthday. So my last day of being 35, I am going to a financial peace university class. So woo, adulting, you know? So anyway, that is gonna be going from January 8th to March 5th. I'm really, really excited, which is why I busted out my new planner for next year. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about my planner for next year, like what my plans are for my planner. Um, I know I've gotten quite a few new subscribers recently, so I know some of you probably haven't like looked back to see my old hauls and stuff, but I did get an Erin Condren hourly life planner. It's still an hourly, but I did go with the neutral version, which is like the black and gray scale. Um, and I did get the silver coil because, you know, I'm boring and the other coils are like $10 more and I just didn't think that they were worth it, but whatever. Um, so yeah, but what I was going to do is take my little Erin Condren sticky notes and put them in on those Sundays because it's every Sunday at 1030, which actually works really nicely for my schedule because let's face it, I don't have much going on in life. So that actually works out great. So then every Sunday, this is January 8th right here. So what I will do is at 10.30, which is like right in that little slot where my finger is, um, I'll just mark off some time. I don't know how long the classes are for. I think they're for two hours, if I remember right. Um, it didn't really say, but you know, that's okay. But um, but yeah, it's on sun it's on a Sunday, and it's actually being held at a church, which I actually find very interesting. I mean, I know it's a religion-based thing, it's like a Christian-based thing, whatever. Um, but it's at 10.30 on a Sunday. Like, isn't that like prime time for churches? Like, I don't really go to church. Um, if you guys have watched any of my vlogs or any of this stuff, you probably know that about me. Um, if not, hi, my name is Emily and I don't go to church. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so like 10.30 in the morning on a Sunday, isn't that like prime time for church? Maybe I'm totally mistaken. Maybe they do it later now. I have no idea, but, um, but yeah, I thought if it was on a Sunday, it'd be starting at like noon or one or two, like kind of like after like church services. But you know, maybe they're having like the church services and then they're doing financial peace like while church is going on, like obviously like in a different room or whatever. Because obviously you don't need to be a member of the church to go. Like you don't have to be religious in any way, shape or form to attend the class. So yeah, and then um, right now the financial peace university kit that I bought because I didn't have the materials, um, was like a certain percent off. I think it was like 40% off or 45% off or something like that. So it was only like 90 something dollars. Like it wasn't that bad. Actually, let me pull it up and I'll tell you. And um, I was actually li listening to Dave Ramsey's podcast while I was, I was packing earlier before I started filming this. Let me see here. Okay, so I posted on Instagram, let me pull it up. Yeah, it was $93 and I don't have to pay shipping because I'm just gonna pick it up at the class. So you just pay for it and then, um, yeah. I mean, I actually asked, let's see what it says. So I asked like the people on Instagram, you know, I just said, hey, I'm taking finally taking financial peace with the new year approaching. It's time to get some of my 2017 goals underway. I'm so excited to start FPU education or my FPU education in January. Have you guys ever been to FPU? I'd love to hear your feedback. So there's a lot of people that have said that they're starting to take it or they want to take it. Um, let's see. One other gal says, I've taken the class. I really enjoyed the discussions and some tips that class members had. It's a great class, but you might not be familiar with some of the topics they cover though. So yeah. Um, but that's the idea that you like learn the whole grand scope of everything, which is kind of based on this book, but not always. There are sections in like the total money makeover and things like that that don't pertain to me. Like I don't have kids and I don't want kids. So like saving for kids college, that's not a step for me. So I don't have to deal with like whatever that like baby step is or whatever. So, um, so yeah, but there's some stuff that doesn't really pertain to me, but that's okay. Like, I feel like you can still do things as you want to. Like if I want to, you know, if I've got like my total financial like scope together, I've paid off my house, 
I don't have a house right now, but if I paid off my house and had all that stuff, and like say my brother, I mean my brother has a minor child right now, but say he has additional minor children or that child that I'm talking about is still a minor, maybe I want to save something for his college or for his future or something like that or something to give him, you know, when he's 25 or 30 or 35 or something like that, like as a, just like a gift. You know, I can do that if I really wanted to and wanted to be generous, you know, I'm not going to have anybody to pass down money to, theoretically. Um, obviously, I could always get into some sort of relationship and find somebody that has children from a previous relationship too, but um, you know, I'm just talking about where I am right now, like right this second. So yeah, so I might wanna do that step at some point, but that would probably be like the last step for me because I don't have any like kid relying on my income to go seek higher education or anything. But I do feel like I'm gonna get a lot out of it. Feel free to leave me information in the comments. Like if you guys are interested in doing, me doing like a recap after I'm completely done with the class or once I'm like halfway through or maybe just like little tidbits on the plan with me's on Monday cause this is gonna be happening on a, well, actually that might not work because I might film out of order. So I might actually film on a Saturday and then I take the class on a Sunday and then I post on a Monday, you know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, but I don't know. Let me know if you want information about FPU. I think I will do a video, like a dedicated video when I'm totally done. But if you guys want like little tidbits like every week of like kind of what's going on, I can even just post on like Instagram and Facebook and stuff too. And my links are always below for that as well. But, um, but just let me know. Let me know. I mean, I don't know what you guys are, I mean, I know what you guys are interested in, it seems like, but then, you know, you guys come up with some really creative ideas of video ideas and suggestions and, you know, whatever I'm comfortable with, like, if I'm comfortable sharing whatever that is, like, I'll totally share it. Like, I have no problem with that. A lot of the video suggestions, unfortunately, go to the bottom because I have so many other videos that are, like, pre-planned. Like, I can't even tell you, like, hold on. Like, I've got all of January figured out already. I have got... I believe all of February figured out. I've got two open slots in February for video days. Like I've got one one Wednesday and one Friday open, like that's it. And then I've got two Wednesdays and two Fridays open in March. So like a lot of times I've pre-planned these videos and some are really time sensitive and some are not time sensitive whatsoever, but I always love suggestions from you guys. And um, if I can, I do them. So let me know. If you got suggestions, post them below. And I always keep track of your video suggestions too. So even if I don't do your video, it doesn't mean it's not gonna get done. It just means that I either need more time or the video doesn't pertain to my style. And normally if it doesn't pertain to my style, I usually comment back to be like, hey, you know, you might wanna search for that somewhere else on YouTube. Like, that's just like not my channel, but you know, I'm sure you can find it. Anyway, I need to go because I am going to put in all of my little sticky notes right now into my planner, but while I'm doing that, I'm actually gonna export all this footage into my computer and get this file ready to go for tomorrow evening, which will be Friday for you guys, so happy Friday. So anyway, I'm gonna get going. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little part of your day. I really, really appreciate it. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for all the love and support during Vlogmas. It's been really fun so far, and I'm almost halfway through. We're at day 15, so I've got actually 16 more of these to go. So it's actually been going pretty good, I think. It's been a fun little change of pace to have something different on my channel. So anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you all in the next vlog or the next video, depending on how you watch these. I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. I gotta go.